Welcome everyone in the next session of the geometry of transit line. Today we will talk about Medellin city in Tiqua, uh, the case study from the Colombia. Medellin is a city which is very much famous because of the of the very uh, of the very uh, bold and very well renowned character of the Pablo Escobar, which was also considered the godfather of the uh, drug mafia as well. So this city, this uh, city actually belonged to uh, in like that time to the mafia but now in the year 2022 they have improved their whole city and they have improved and and install amazing transit line in the city so today our case study is about medellin okay so the uh, transit services can be aligned and scheduled to allow passenger to transfer between routes so that they can arrive uh, to provide uh, to reach to any type of opportunity okay so the uh, the core function of those geometry line is that how they actually look like are the dependent where is their uh, intersection where what sort of transportation network uh, do the city have so this is basically uh, extracted from this uh, uh, from this uh, specific case study and its uh, link is also given in this lecture as well. Uh, this is a typical example from the Medellin that how this city is uh, is divided and uh, different type of a transit station geometry is actually existed. As you can see here, so the A and B is considered and cover with the mass rapid transit and this major arterial network from A to A and this from B to here. So this only part is connected with main uh, kind of their uh, their uh, main line which is considered as a mass rapid transit. And the second mode is their one, two and three which is considered as their bus rapid transit system. As you can see here, the one and two actually exist somewhere here near to the Medellin city center. OK, and then we have the uh, the uh, aerial tram network, which actually connect the HKJLMNP. So like all those sort of a path. OK, and then we have the tram line as well, which is mainly connected F and J from here to here, which uh, which kind of uh, Cross this Medellin city in the longitudinal way. So the purpose of those line is to understand the transit line in geometry is basically the the backbone of any public network which play a very major role to provide the accessibility in the neighborhood uh, for the various purposes. So. For example, if we talk about the mass rapid transit station and bus rapid uh, transit station, uh, bus rapid transit, so that should provide the uh, interchanges at the different surroundings within the housing area, within the leisure activity, within the any type of a uh, business expo and so on. So this is the very typical type which we call the linear network with the feeder lines. As you can see here, this middle in city is uh, is completely divided in the middle through a very narrow network, which which actually uh, straight away uh, divided uh, the whole city. So the transportation network is actually built around one trunk line that forms the backbone of the network, which usually uh, uh, play its primarily service and that line should have the maximum capacity as we already covered the maximum capacity we do have only with the mass rapid transit. OK. So this is the uh, second part, which is called the uh, scantial feeder linear network. As you can see here, the city center was connected with the mass rapid transit, but the neighborhood areas are actually divided among the different branch lines. And those branch lines are actually covered 
or connected through different type of a feeder route services. So as you can imagine, the the one line we do have the main line. In the another one, we have the feeder line. Feeder is a very simple word means to feed the baby. So we try to feed the mass rapid transit with the passenger. So if you if you think if you take the aerial view, basically the bus rapid transit or the aerial tram or any type of other uh, services uh, exist in the city or actually work is a feeder lines which feed the passenger from its neighborhood to the mass rapid transit. So they play a very important role. This is the uh, feeder linear network. So just to understand that how the same network around the main mass transit line here in the middle actually exist and where do we have the neighborhood areas as you can see here are different lines uh, which is shown with the uh, kind of a green and ember and uh, red so these those are basically heading toward the main line which actually attract a different potential of a passenger which would like to transfer to different lines. So for example, if you want to go from this point to this point, so you can take the mass rapid transit uh, till to your, uh, to your uh, destination point, and then the mass rapid transit will only provide the service in the main city corridor. But to reach to any individual area, that will be connected with different feeder and branch lines and trunk lines, of course. Is you can see here to understand that how a single network behave is a feeder. As you can see here, so for example, if we have that specific line, so that line provide the whole coverage in that surrounding area. And this line uh, provide the whole service in like that area. So the best planner, they always should develop the housing in residential areas around those transit lines. If, if it's not possible to, to construct each and everything around those lines, so, so then the housing in residential area should be connected through other branch feeder and trunk lines, which is very much important. And as you can see here in this whole city surrounding, so different type of a feeder networks act as a uh, or play a very important role to feed the passenger to the mass rapid transit line. OK. So this is a, a typical line is uh, you can see here to understand the role of a feeder line, branch line, and trunk line. So this, in like this scenario, the A is our main line, this one, okay? And uh, those, uh, the uh, other lines, some of them are our branch lines and some of them are our feeder lines. For example, the rest of them are like, like uh, J, B, M, F, H, J, this, uh, those are our branch lines. And if you can see here, those which are connected with this BRT, so like three and three here, and then those one and two. So those actually act as a trunk line, okay? But to fulfill the purpose, the purpose of those trunk lines is to is to serve or, or uh, provide the passenger to the branch line and then feeder line, and then all of them act as a one body, as a feeding body, which provide its services to the mass rapid transit line. The next part of this lecture, we will uh, try to understand the uh, line alignment, line length, and what are the different kind of a uh, connections among those lines, which we can call them independent or integrated. If you have any question, you can get back in the comment section.